Hi, it's uh, Jay, and uh, I finished uh, designing and building the uh, uh, the uh, signal generator and preamplifier circuit. Uh, this is the signal generator, and you can see this. Uh, I, this is something that I soldered together using various bits and components uh, that I found from uh, old radios and stuff. And uh, it consists of the capacitors, the uh, generators, as well as a uh, series of switches. Uh, there are four of these switches, so I can have 16 different settings, 16 different frequencies for the uh, signal. Uh, and then this is the preamplifier circuit. Uh, the preamplifier circuit, you can see I built it onto a breadboard. Uh, and these, uh, both of these are connected to the oscilloscope here. Uh, you can see the top, the top uh, signal here, that's actually the original uh, signal from the signal generator. Uh, and this, the uh, blue line, uh, is actually the signal from the, from the uh, preamplifier uh, output. Uh, and you can see there's, it doesn't look as though there uh, is much difference right now. But if I change the setting here, you can clearly see that the uh, that there is a divide division that there's a difference uh, in terms of the uh, change in signal you can see it's uh, it's a lot more uh, dramatic for the um, for the original signal now another thing is if you if you changed it from uh, from time domain into the uh, frequency domain here you can see that uh, this is actually the uh, this is actually the uh, filtered uh, s this is actually the original uh, setting and then when I change the uh, channel here, you can actually see, I'm, I'm sorry, this is the original setting, and when I press this button to change the channel for, uh, to, to the second channel, you'll see the uh, actual filtered setting, and you can clearly see uh, from the FFT uh, series that it's, uh, that there's, it's a lot less dramatic with the uh, peaks than the peaks from the original signal.